Well, this is a happy day. This is when we're comparing our Cordeline seedlings that uh, came up courtesy of the seeds that we, you can read on there, we took out of the husks. Compare them, so kind of the bare naked seeds, to the germination that we had when we put the whole husk, that the berry, um, and sow that at the same time. And um, as you can see, we've had really quite good germination um, across the whole range. Interestingly, we seem to have a few that might be um, red varieties. Maybe we'll have a, a new um, a new hybrid, a new a new variety of cordial line, Rogers Red. Um, we shall see when they um, when they're potted on if they develop um, a different coloured leaf. Um, but in terms of the comparison between uh, those that we took out of the husks, where we just put the seed in, when we took the trouble to actually kind of prise them out of the husks, you can see that moment when we did that on our previous video, also available on this channel. Um, uh, and here's the ones that we did um, without taking them out of the husks. And we had a good germination rate with both of them. If anything, I would just say the main difference was that these guys, the ones that we'd taken out of the husks, they germinated more quickly. They were up probably two or three weeks before before these. Uh, but once these started coming up, in fact, I can still see one that's still trying to, I don't have one there. So these are just a little bit later. I guess they had a bit more work to do to break out of the, um, out of the husk. Um, whereas these, uh, life was easy for them. They, um, they just kind of germinated and got and got growing. So we've got a, an extra couple of centimeters, maybe an inch or more in old language of new growth on on those compared to the um, to the ones that were still in the husks. And so now all that remains to be done is to get one of these uh, these seedlings. Here's one I prepared earlier. Lovely little uh, growth of root there um, into a pot of uh, of, of compost. This is a mixture. A blended compost it's got some peat free ingredients and a little bit of peat uh, in there combining the best of both worlds we must talk about peat free compost on another video and uh, my thoughts on that and what we're as a trade trying to do to um, reduce the amount of peat that we use but anyway this is not about peat free this is about cord lines there's our little seedling into that um, uh, three inch pot nine centimeter pot and then it's going to put more compost around there like that give it a little tap down I don't like to press too firmly um, I like the the compost to be in contact with the root but not compressed around it so that's nice and loose but we've tapped it down so it's settled a little bit there'll still be some air gaps I'm just trying to get him upright in the pot there because uh, I like things to be nice and upright there you go so there's our, our little cordeline seedling. Um, they're just a couple of months old and uh, a good range of uh, seedlings from our seeds and pips, our, our berries um, that, we, that we sowed. Perhaps the most exciting thing is that could this be the new introduction, Rogers Red, um, there. Watch this channel for more updates. Thanks for watching. Any questions, any comments? We'd love to hear how your um, propagation attempts have been working out for your, um, your cord lines or indeed any other plant. Bye for now.